Hi students, wanted to take a moment to go over how to set up uh, the line graph for the spec lab or Beer's Law Lab that we're taking care of this week. Uh, I have a sample uh, spreadsheet here. I'll get this a little bit bigger. And so the top part looks like what you have on your lab sheet with the wavelength determination of highest absorbance. So I went and I did this uh, uh, like a year and a half ago. And so from my data, what I found is that my highest absorbance was 0.23, which was at 500 nanometers. All right, so I'll highlight this here. So that was my highest one. Now, the bottom set of the data shows uh, 2 through 10 milliliters of the 0.1 molar cobalt solution. The cobalt solution is our M1. So I'll just put 0 0.10 molar equals M1. And then the milliliters of this is our V1. Pardon the interruption. Picked a picture. great time to do this. All right. So we've got our M1, which is that concentration, and our V1, which is this column. And we found that by doing dilution, we could add a certain amount of water to each amount of cobalt to get a new total volume of 10 milliliters. So that new total volume, that's V2, which makes our new molarity our M2. I'm just going to resize because I prefer that way. Okay. Uh, so to calculate new molarity, I have a formula set up here. You can do this in your calculator where you are doing uh, M1 times V1. So M1 times V1 equals M2 times V2. And you're solving for M2 in this instance. So in doing so, I came up with the following concentrations, all right, based on what I started with. Now for the graph, in order to find the concentration here of the unknown, we need to set up a line graph where our molarity is on the x-axis and absorbance is on the y-axis. So I'm going to select this data set. And I'm going to go to either the insert chart icon or insert chart. Takes a moment. And for column chart, I want a scatter plot. I'm going to use column or row six as labels. And we get something like this, which actually looks pretty darn good. Okay, so here is my graph. I'm going to go to customize now. For chart and axis titles, we're going to make a chart title, which would be something like concentration versus absorbance for cobalt plus two. Okay, uh, you can have it left centered or right justified. I go back to type and I change to horizontal axis title. This is concentration in molarity. So I'll just put M. Yep. And then I go back, I choose vertical axis title and I'll put absorbance. Absorbance, our absorbance does not have units, so we're done with that part. And then we can go to uh, you know, horizontal axis, what the heck, we can say zero for a minimum. Not necessary, but it certainly helps. 
and then I go to vertical axis and I don't need to change anything there. Grid line's good. Okay, so if we go to series, that option, we want to choose trend line. I click it. We want the type to be linear. And for a label, we want to use equation. Okay. Uh, the blue dot just shows, hey, this is a data point. And then the blue square represents the fine blue color of the line. If you don't like blue, hey, we can do red. Why not? Uh, no error bars. So this is what we've got. So this is our graph. And then make sure that the graph is selected. Right click. Don't right click. Copy chart. So you can hit the three arrows, go to copy chart. Or just make sure the graph is selected. Control C to copy and then paste in your lab report. Now you'll notice the equation here has the following equation, y equals 2.35x minus 0 0.023. This is the y-intercept, 2.35 is the slope, x is our concentration. So to solve for our unknown concentration right here, we can put the following equation in, equals 2.35 times X, uh, I'm doing this wrong. Hold on. We're going to say, so equals absorbance minus negative 0 0.023. All of that in parentheses divided by that 2.35, and that should get us x, which in this case, x came out to 0 0.06. So that's the new concentration of the unknown. Uh, if you're confused with what I just went through, because, gosh, I might still be waking up here, uh, I'll go over how to do that calculation in class by hand, so we don't have to worry about doing it on the computer. But at the very least, you need to be able to demonstrate that you can come up with this graph make it look somewhat like this with our labels looking as such and getting a trend line and using the equation so that you can plug in your absorbance and solve for that unknown concentration.